Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have got a favourites video for you and this was one of those favourite videos where I started jotting things down and then when I've gone to collect the items I've gone, ooh, but this, I need to tell you about this. So um, I've tried my very best to not overshare everything in here. <laughs> I will have some more videos coming up with different things with like makeup and hair and um, I'm thinking I need to put a little bit more over on my blog so that's just, um, it's still sort of under construction I suppose because it's so old but that's just lisagregory.co.uk and I'm really trying on Instagram at the moment so please follow me there lk underscore gregory if you can, that'd be great. But today the favourites that we're looking at are going to be skincare, lifestyle, I've got some food, I've got some Netflix recommendations for you, I've got a piece of software slash an app that I use and also a fitness person that I really want to uh, recommend to you if you're not already following this person. So without further ado let's get into it and let's start with skincare. The first skincare item that I have for you is not in my hands because I put it on my Instagram stories when I ran out of it saying just recommended it to you guys saying how amazing it was and that I was quite sad that it had run out <laughs> but it came in the Christmas PR sort of package that I had and it's basically the goop I've got another thing from goop here and um, here it is um, to talk to you about today but it's the goop, what are they called? The fruit, um, fruit extract things? They're a peel basically. It's like a little cotton round that you slip over your fingers and you just rub it all over your face. And my skin feels amazing after that. And the enzyme just breaks down that sort of dead layer of skin. And I love the way my skin feels and looks after that. I just feel all fresh and new and dewy. So I would love to get some more of those. But I wanted to give you an alternative as well. So I have been sparingly, because of how little the bottle is, been using this. But I feel like this is slightly... I don't know if I'm telling you the right thing about potency here because I can feel the Goop one really working on my skin like straight away in a different way to this because I can feel this working straight away but this is great for waking up in the morning with like no pores in this area and this is my like concern area <laughs> that is always my pores are big here um so this is I'd say try the one out I've also tried the Dr. Janice Gross ones I've still got a few of those left upstairs which I'll probably go back to using if I'm honest um, but okay, so there's kind of three recommendations, I do apologise. Dr. Janice Gross ones, you've got the Goop ones, and then you've got this one, the Darfin one, and I do love this one, I really do. So um, this is the Peeling Institute Youth Peeling Resurfacing Peel with a Botanical Blend. And there's like a teeny little bit of this left in the bottom. I will be repurchasing this one, definitely. Then for moisturiser, I have two. So this one, which is the Goop one, which is the Replenishing Night Cream, I have been using recently because my skin has been quite dry. And I would only recommend this to people that have very dry skin, I would say, because this deeply moisturizes, but it also has almost like, oil is the wrong term to use but I do feel like it has that little bit of slick on top so if you were doing your skincare routine and obviously oil is the last thing that you use when you do have dry skin to sort of like keep everything in place this does that all in one step so I would say this is just it's lovely for if you've got um that really dry skin and you can see what it looks like inside here and it's really thick um it's lovely it's lovely stuff but yeah i'm only using that when i've got super dry skin now this is really cheap this is about 10 pounds i shouldn't say cheap should i i should say affordable um but this is 10 pounds this is the lanolin all over cream and it takes me forever to go through a tube of this but i can take sort of about a I was going to say a slug size amount, but that's a really bad way to um, 
to describe something to you um because that's not really a slug is it i mean slugs well my kind of slugs here are like massive um by the way talking about slugs we've started to buy this is so off topic started to buy more organic foods after reading about um after everything that happened and reading about diet and what i'm putting into my body how my gut is reacting with, and my intestines with certain things so we bought organic fruit and vegetables and i took out some <laughs> this is so random took out some gem lettuce from the fridge and as i look down there's a slug there is a slug on the like bottom ledge of the fridge and I was like oh and he was a little slug like a little one but obviously he's come off of the jam lettuce so there's my story for you <laughs> yeah so tip of the day is to always wash your organic vegetables anywho back to the lanolin sorry uh this is an amazing cream for dry skin I'm using this every single night if I'm not using this, this is like my, when I'm super dry. But this is supposed to be really good for things like eczema, what does it say? Apply to dry skin all over face, body, hands, eye area, and children. So not just yourself, but children as well, that's great. Um, I apologize for the mood that I'm in today. Yeah, so, but I find that this is great for, not only if you've got dry skin, but I put this on, I feel like, I just feel like this is doing good for my skin. It's not leaving my skin with like a heavy feeling either. It's just, it's doing a good job and it's deeply moisturizing and it's gentle. So massively, massively recommend this at an affordable, not a cheap price. <laughs> the next item that I have for you is a mask and I'm gonna put the conversation, I will check with the brand that that's okay first, but I'm gonna put the conversation on the screen here to show you that I won't accept something if the brand just wants me to do like a shout out about it because that's why I don't really get sent a lot of things because I will say I'm only going to talk about something if I like it because I don't really think that I should sit here and tell you negative things about products if just because they don't work for me, you know, they might work for somebody else. Um, so I said that I only only wants to be sent something if I could trial it first, basically before um, giving it a shout out or such. But you're gonna be glad that I did because they weren't wrong. They said I would love it and I do, it's amazing. I've never had a mask um, just go on and feel like my skin feel baby soft afterwards. This is a clay mask. This is Australian hemp clay mask and it doesn't over dry my skin like other clay masks do and also because I suppose of the green colour it's so soothing and my redness was majorly majorly reduced after using this like I've never had a mask do that beforehand so I'm very very impressed with this and I will link this I'll link all of everything I'm talking about in the description box below but it is the Hey Bud Australian Hemp Clay Mask definitely worth a little look. Have a look on their Instagram. Now I haven't written this one down for me to talk about today, but I have to. I have to put this makeup one in here because this is what I've been loving at the moment. I've seen so many people, so many people go on about this tinted moisturizer and using it with the by Terry and the effect that it gives and everything. And I was putting, I feel like I should tell you this in another video, but I was putting it on the by Terry and it was sinking into my pores and I was putting this over and I wasn't getting the best effect. However, I will show you how I actually use it, but this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser SPF 30 and I am in 2W1 Natural. I think as I get a little bit sort of more tanned hopefully in the summer, um, I would have a darker shade, but that is what I'm currently using. But this is what I use underneath it. I've had this for ages, this is my second bottle. I use a little bit at a time, but this is the Radiance Primer. And this, honey, with this, perfect. Sometimes even with a little bit of the By Terry mixed in. But this is just like, it's good stuff. I'll just show you like a little close up. Okay, so yeah, so I said this here, which I've smudged 
hopefully you can see some radiance there. The lighting's very poor. And then this one is a tinted moisturiser. And this just gives a really nice, really lovely glow. And when I mix them both together, what have you got? Bippity boppity boo. That's beautiful. Yeah, it just gives a really light, dewy base and haven't worn foundation in since I got it actually, probably about two weeks, I think, feel, maybe three. Yeah, love, love that. Okay, I don't have a book for you this time, but I do have some Netflix series. I don't have a book because I've gone back to reading um, what I was reading beforehand because I sort of stopped, but Netflix. We have just finished the other season of Vikings, Viking? Vikings, um, and we absolutely love Vikings, so we've really been enjoying that one. That one? I can't speak. And then we have just smashed through Sabrina. It has gotten so good. Like every series that we watch, I just feel like it gets better and better. And when I say, like, if I just say Sabrina, like, oh yeah, Sabrina, that's like a teenager's thing that maybe I shouldn't be watching. It's great, honestly. Go and watch it, it's really good. So that's finished and we went on to start watching something else that's only just popped up on Netflix and it is called, is it called The Stranger or just Stranger? Not sure, search it if it hasn't come up already. It is really good. I think we're three episodes in perhaps or four and ooh, it is getting really juicy and I feel like there's gonna be a big twist at the end or something. I don't know. If you're watching it, let me know what you think and I might have to watch this along and like do little like snippets or something on Instagram because I just feel like, I feel like there's gonna be a big twist. Like where's the, where's the woman gone? Don't know, confusing. Anyway, hey Cody. Um, then we're on to, hello, are you coming into the video? I don't think you're in shot though, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Um, that's the Laura Mercy. You can't lick Laura Mercy, okay? You can't lick it. Okay, the next thing that we're going on to is the fitness person that I wanted to talk to you about. I, who did I hear about this off? Two different people. One of them was Annie Jaffrey, and the second one was... Ooh, there was another person talking about this. And it's an American person, and I hadn't watched them in quite a while. I was like, oh, you're talking about her too? I better have a little look. So basically, it, the person is Melissa. Can we stop walking around your nails on the wood, guys? Her, her name is Melissa Woodhealth. Woodhealth, I think, yes. Um, and I think you get like seven days free, which is what I did. I love what she's doing. So it's $9.99 a month, I think I'm paying at the moment, which at the moment I prefer to do that than go to a gym because it's dark, by the time I get there I won't end up working out, blah 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 blah. So yes, um, it is basically like Pilates, yoga, small body, well body weight things but also like small weight stuff which is just right up my street and she does like full body workouts. You can like make your own, I can't stop saying like, you can make your own playlists as well. Playlists or lists of things. Yeah. So I've only just started getting into that and I will update you, but at the moment I really like what she's doing, I really do. Then I have three more things to tell you. When I say three, one of those is a three because it's a food thing and we need to talk about that. Anywho, the next thing is Trello because I find that I am using it for everything. That's my app, my piece of software because you can have it on your phone, on your iPad, it's a full browser page as well. If you haven't seen Trello before, not sponsored by the way, but it is amazing and I love how you can just make lists of things, you can attach documents, you can link to different things, put photos on, if you use Google Drive you can link to that, you can, the thing that sold it with me is that if you make a list you can just pick one card up from here which is like a little say to do item and just like put it over into a different list. I loved it and just thought that would come in handy with so many things, for example if I've got a list of content I want to film, then I've filmed it, I've edited it, I've uploaded it, I can just go like boop, boop, 
boop, that kind of thing. So it comes in handy. I've got so many different boards with lists inside. I love it. Okay, I have, let's go on to the, the food items, okay? So the food items that I have been loving are three vegan items actually. And we did Veganuary again this year. And when I say we, Adam did it with me, yay! He did it this year. Um, and from my standpoint now this year, it was a lot, lot easier than last year. I don't think I'll be going back to having and well, I wasn't having any meat anyway, but any dairy at all, any milk in any foods, like the hidden ones, so I'm completely eating vegan. But for example, say once in a month, if I want a pizza that has cheese on it, that will be what I will eat then. So I won't be I won't be sort of fully plant-based. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try my very hardest to be like, yeah, I'm gonna try my very, very hardest to be and hopefully I won't want it at all. So the first one I wanna to talk to you about is vegan egg. And I would say this, this type of vegan egg doesn't really taste like egg, but it, you can have it in place of egg. <laughs> <laughs> so like scrambled egg, fried egg, I think you can use it for baking this one, I'm not sure. Um, but I love, I love the taste of this. I don't know what it is. I think I might need to have some for my tea tonight. It is so nice. Just get some, it's lovely. Next is B12 or nutritional yeast as it's really called, but it's B12. And this tastes like cheese, like, like I wasn't a massive cheese person before, like I wouldn't have it on anything. The only thing I would really have cheese on is a pizza. But this, I'm like, if we're having beans, baked beans with something, I'm like, sprinkle a bit of nutritional yeast on it. If we're having, I don't know what else I sprinkle it on. I feel like it's mostly beans, but I just love it. I love it, it's so nice. The final thing is vegan bacon and now, I wasn't a massive smoky bacon fan beforehand. But this tastes like smoky bacon. Uh, smoky bacon, may I say, with like no fat on it. So they literally like strips and apparently it's a number one bestseller. It's amazing. It's so nice. I love it. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. And I have a friend again. The last thing I want to tell you about today is I have done some work for them because I am fully invested in what this brand does, kind of behind the scenes, but they do talk about it, I suppose, as well, but um, for charity, and I love what their future goals are for helping um, children, it's, they're amazing. But I wanted to talk to you, they don't know that I'm doing this, but about the, is it called anxiety? Weighted, <laughs> excuse me, you made me jump, lady. You can't play by here, you'll knock the camera over, okay? Okay. You can't play either. Would you leave me? This is the last thing I go talk about. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a weighted blanket that um, is amazing. I know I talked about it. I've talked about it in a previous vlog, one of my IVF wins, I think. It's amazing. Me and Adam tonight, we will snuggle up on the sofa underneath it, and it's just it'll just sit on us and make us feel all relaxed and calm and we have been using it we've been reaching for it every night so i think that tells us something so not just for like if either of us are like particularly anxious about anything but we have been reaching for it every night to both sit under on the sofa and i will leave i will leave their information in the down bar below because i think i think you should go and check them out they are costly weighted blankets are costly you were getting an amazing product though, I'm telling you. And this, this well, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna sort of break down or anything. So it's gonna last, definitely worth it. 
so that is it thank you so much don't forget to head on over to my website my blog if you can which is just lisagregory.co.uk and to follow me on instagram if you did like this video and let me know give this a thumbs up write a little comment for me please subscribe it lets me know that you're liking what i'm doing and you want to see more but thank you so much for staying here today and watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys